Hey guys, so I'm going to do a book review on the first three novels of the Fallen series. So first off we've got Fallen by Lauren Kate. I'll just read the back. Some angels are destined to fall. Instant intense, weirdly really familiar. For a moment Liz looks at Danny. She knows she has never felt like this before, except she can't shake the feeling that she has, and with him, a boy she doesn't remember ever sitting eyes on. <coughs> Will her attempt to find out why enlighten her or destroy her? Um, so this book, basically, Luce, um, has been sent to this boarding school called Sword and Cross. And then she meets this guy called Daniel, um, who seems to be really, like, reserved and standoffish and a bit of an arsehole towards her. Um, but she constantly seems to be drawn to her for some reason. And, and she slowly works out that he's actually an angel and that they're destined to be together and fall in love. And also she begins to find out that she also has past lives and she basically has no recollection of her past lives or what happened in her previous lives. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed this book. Um, it took a while to get into. It was very slow at the start, but um, once she goes to the boarding school, it really starts to kick off. Um, and yeah, it's very much a fantasy romance. Uh, it's similar in some ways to Twilight, but not exactly the same. Um, it's obvious, it's definitely got its own kind of feel and, and tone to it. Um, yeah, so the second book in the Fallen series is Torment. And I'll just read the back. Love never dies. It took Lucinda an eternity to find her beloved angel Daniel, but he waited for her. And now they are forced apart again to protect Luce from the outcasts, immortals who want her dead. During the separation, Luce learns about her mysterious past lives, and but the more she discovers, the more she suspects that Daniel is hiding something. What if Daniel's version of the past isn't true? Is it really their destiny to be together, or is it Liz actually meant to be with somebody else? I actually like this book a lot better than the first one. It's definitely more dramatic, there's a lot more going on. Um, she, Liz goes to a new school, and there she befriends um, um, the Nephilim, um, a guy called Miles she also develops a very close friendship with and at one point she tosses up between falling in love with him as opposed to Daniel and what and kind of compares her life a normal life to a life falling in love with an angel and she also develops a friendship with Shelby who seems to be a bit of a moody bitch at the start but they tend they start to get really close and really, they really help each other out through the book. Um, and it's also a lot more dangerous in some ways, like basically um, Daniel's put Liz in the school for her own protection. Basically these creatures for our class are, are trying to kill her and come after her. And and Daniel's also very um, guarded. He's basically trying to um, keep a lot of stuff away from Liz and hiding a lot of things from her as well. Um, yeah, I really got into it a lot more than the first one. And she also discovers announcers, which are basically like um, these shadowy portals that kind of um, reveal past elements of um, people's lives 
um, and it can also be used as portals to other um, realms. And the most recent book in the series is called Passion. That's the third book. And I'll just read from the back again. Every single lifetime I'll choose you, just as you've always chosen me forever. Before Winston and Daniel met at Sword and Cross, before they fought the immortals, they already have lived many lives. And so this desperate or not the curse that condemns their love must revisit her past incantations in order to understand her fate. Each century, each life holds a different clue. But Daniel is chasing her throughout the centuries before she has a chance to rewrite this dream. How many deaths can one true love endure? And how can <coughs> and can Luce and Daniel unlock their past in order to change the future? This book is very different to the first two in that the structure is very different. Um, so it doesn't follow the same pattern as the first two. It basically picks off up from where Torment ends um, after this huge um, outcast attack and Liz decides to open up an announcer and go through it to discover her past lives. So basically she goes back in time and revisits her past selves and also past selves of Daniel as well and tries to figure out um, what the, this, this big curse on their love that's um, stopping them from falling in love and yes, yeah, she's trying to break that curse. Yeah, it's really interesting. She basically um, goes back further and further in time with each announcer she goes through and she also has a companion named Bill um, who is there as a bit of a guide um, for Liz um, but is also hiding something, he's got a bit of a hidden agenda and and yeah Daniel is also trying to find Liz at the same time um, so yeah, it's a, there's a lot of stuff going on obviously, and yeah, out of the three I would have to say I enjoy Torment the most, um, for some reason, but Passion's almost on par, um, but I'm really looking forward to Rapture, which is the, the last book in the Fallen series. Yeah, it's really interesting, just um, seeing uh, an angel fall in love with a human, and and yeah, just exploring something different than all the vampire stuff that's been going on at the moment. And yeah, hope you enjoy my review. Thank you.